Hello, welcome to another video for Power BI's financials. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos in this uh, uh, area and you can also join our newsletter and our community. Um, the problem we're gonna solve today is from John Olson. He wants only a second total column in the matrix ratio. So let's begin, let's see what he is, he wants. Okay, so let's see, we have a number uh, just an actuals and you have here the months just a period and then you have a total what he wants is just for the total another measure a uh, total uh, of percent well if you do that let's see this one this visual and we added just an extra measure with the delta from your actuals and your budget then you get it on every single column you get the both measures. You so if you want to check the formatting, and we can see here that there is no option to just hide the individual columns. There's only option to hide the total columns. So you can say, okay, I don't want to have the totals on my columns, but there isn't one on the specific element or the value. So how are we going to do this? There is a way and uh, I'm going to show you and it's a workaround. So let's hop over to the steps. So there are a simple few steps to make it work. We're going to create a header table and we're going to add it uh, like a disconnected table on the data model. Then we're going to uh, change the columns. We want to put in our header table uh, in the matrix visual. And then of course we make a measure, just one measure, and we put a one measure in the matrix. And in the measure, we're gonna um, reference to different measures based on uh, what part of the measure of what column um, relatively it's looking for. And then of course, also we need to format parts of the measure because it is one measure, so you have to formats um, different measures in in the one measure so in excel file i just made a header table and i put in the periods and two types of totals the euros and the percentages and also added a sorting column we're going to add this table and i call this table a column headers to our data model and that we do just by get data, Excel workbook. We're just gonna add the column header table, choose the table, load the table, and now it is loaded, but it is a disconnected table. Oh yeah, also. We just have, for this video, we don't need all the other tables, but we just need the accounts table, the calendar table, the general ledger for the measure, and also a column header. So that was steps one and two. So we created a header table and we added the header table to the model. Now let's take a look at step three. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make the columns uh, transpose. So we're going to uh, use the header table here for the columns in the matrix. So we get the nice look and feel for the 12 months and also two types of totals with the extra total here. Let's see how is that is working. Oh, different page. Now first, Let's grab the header, column headers, and we add the group to the column, and we add the header to the column. This is the normal, this is the one with the header table. Then I want to go down one level, and you can see, hey, I see here the a header table with the 12 months and for the totals only the euros and the percentages. If I go further one, 
as we'll see the period from the calendar table. So the header table has periods, but this uh, period, the normal periods, are from the calendar table. That is not what we want, because then you can see there is no relationship between them and it will be like it's every period have a relation with every period from the uh, calendar. So let's go one up. Okay, I want this as my visual, as my layout, but I, you can see, because there is no connection, you can see here the terrible all, <laughs> if there is no collection, he will say, okay, hey, I see all for everybody. So you see all the, all, uh, in all the columns and all the rows, the totals. So now we're gonna make uh, a measure and we're gonna say that the measure must behave like we want. And that's the next step. So in the steps, I already created the measure for you. So that's this uh, convenient, but let's explain the measure and then put the measure in Word. We're gonna uh, add a variable for the selection. So you can see the selected value from the headers groups and otherwise to period, but that's the uh, selection. We also have a variable for the uh, header, for the other header table, column, and then we make a switch. So we say, okay, if we see that the selection is period, then calculate the actual thousands and filter the calendar. And here we want to make a relationship between um, the calendar period and the calendar and the headers period. The column is called header, but in the header we have header periods. And then we're going to say, okay, if the selection is total, this we have already got the periods, we got the total now. Okay, switch between, so we made another switch, switch between euros or percentage. Is it this euros, then go for actual thousands. Is it this percentage, then go for the percentage formula. I put this in another formula, a former formula. Because otherwise, let's see the total measure like one format, so only numbers. So I have to explicitly say, okay, this is a format of percentage. On the DAX guide, I will show you, you can see uh, easily what kind of types you have to place in the um, quotes to determine the type of uh, number or percentage you want. I want to make my life easier and also the video smart. So I just make a new measure and I paste in the formula. To show the difference, I just put in the next uh, the next uh, table, there's a copy paste, and I put in the uh, group and the header, the group and the header, and that was all the new measure. Well, it's calculating now, and let's down, down drill. Well, now we shall already see that we got 12 periods from the header table and we got our new measure with the percentage and the euros. Next thing that we have to do is just some makeup. So we don't want to have this second total. So we already got the euros. So let's remove the total column from this by just go to format, column subtotals, 
and now we're gonna sort the header of the sorry we're gonna sort the headers because we want first to have the euros as total and then the percentage so we're gonna go over to the table we go over to the header and we say okay I just want to sort it by column sort now you're gonna see okay it's like we want it and also we have the amounts just go for the next thing just to go for the decimals and I go for the whole number just to show you that it's exactly the same as above but now we got our desired visual so okay we're gonna test if this is interactive interactive with this slicer so we have here a slicer with the calendar period and we want to see if it's uh, interacting with the right way with the header table with the period in it okay so we select uh, four months and we see that the total is the same as the total um, above so you see that's just a year to month and also the percentage is um, is changing um, you can also use this same model for more extended and more uh, financial bigger uh, models you can add columns to it maybe you can make it dimensional uh, uh, dynamic the table I it's on my to-do list to make a dynamic uh, header table but uh, and I also want to thank uh, Anna van Bodegom and Adrian Havenkamp because uh, they are two consultants who sometimes work together and uh, we use this uh, kind of uh, methods in the real uh, world in the real practice so um, yeah you, you can do it also in your own uh, environment in your own company uh, if you like this video subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time bye bye